Ever since Stefano Domenicali became the CEO of F1, the sport has been experimenting with ways to increase its popularity and reach. He has now spoken about the future, while also comparing reigning world champion Max Verstappen to an icon of the sport in an interview with Corriere della Sera. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Max Verstappen is a cannibal and free practice could be worth championship points. Domenicali started off by explaining why they have been trying out different things such as the sprint race. Because you have to try. The excuses for not doing are always many. It is a principle of life. Purists always turn up their noses, but F1 over the years has changed the way of qualifying dozens of times. It is a requirement that cannot be postponed to have even more spectacle. He then offered a few hints on some of the changes that could be made to a race weekend in the future. I would like there to always be a fight for something crucial to the title. In a normal weekend, the one consisting of free practice 1 and 2 on Friday, each session should offer points or single qualifying laps or a qualifying lap for a different, shorter Saturday. Race instead of the third free practice, perhaps with the reverse grid mechanism. He signed off by comparing Max Verstappen to F1 legend Michael Schumacher. Verstappen resembles Schumacher because he focuses on everything he does on the track. He has matured a lot and he has learned to manage his emotions. He is a cannibal, he doesn't look anyone in the face, and in this he reminds me so much of Michael. Fast feed. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton feels that they have to be realistic, that Red Bull is almost unbeatable. It's going to take some real doing to beat that car. Performance wise we have not caught them and we don't have upgrades coming to enable us to overtake them. Aston Martin's Sebastian Vettel suggested that it's the same old game, nothing has changed, it's been like this for as long as he can remember. I've never seen a team starting last in the beginning of the season and all of a sudden being in the front at the end of the season, so you don't catch up. Probably this is the hardest year to catch up because you can't spend money. Retired F1 world champion Nico Rosberg explained that for Oscar Piastri when the opportunity came, he's going to take it. I mean, a race seat at McLaren, boom. You as a young driver, you've got to go for it. You can't just wait around at Alpine and see what Alonso does and see what they decide. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz suggested that when they stop having penalties and go to favourable tracks like Singapore and he's up there, they will have two cars to fight Max Verstappen. Not to gamble with, but to get around with Max and we will be in a better position. McLaren CEO Zach Brown indicated that it's best to let things play out and we can give a little colour afterwards. If you look at Otmar's comments, he was giving a play-by-play -play on the CRB and how confident they were, and now I think he looks a little silly. F2 driver Robert Schwartzman will take part in free practice one during the US Grand Prix weekend driving a Ferrari. And Alfa Romeo's Valtteri Bottas stated, if you asked me today how long would I want to drive, I'd say forever. I'm really, really enjoying it. Should F1 award points for free practice sessions? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula One.